So, can I just say, I've convinced the people of Afghanistan that Marks and Spencer's salt and vinegar peanuts are the way forward. They're currently being passed around the car. Unbelievable. Good. Ali. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it is perfect. Are they good, eh? Yeah, I like Thanks. <laughs> Morning, guys, and welcome back to Bamiyan, the heart of Afghanistan. We are currently here in the town centre. We're at one of the bazaars, the Handicraft Bazaar, and you will not believe, you will not believe this, but every shop is run. Salam. Excuse me? Mayu, Mayu. No, 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 it's over here. What's he saying? Yeah, he's saying you're a disabled person uh, if you can help. Ah, okay, okay. Um, I, well, I can't help. It's okay, right. I think, we'll, I think they're just asking for help just because I think there's a disabled friend. But uh, yes, every one of these shops is owned and operated by a woman and there's only one that is owned by and operated by a man which is quite interesting so we're going to go in I don't know how much recording we can do and um, we're going to check out a few of the shops and see what they sell and a, and a bit of just uh, here saying take a photo take a photo yeah okay. is this what is this what is this what he wants he wants me to, well, how, how does he want I mean how does he want me to help how, how do I help <laughs> he is saying no problem no, but I'm not sure what's going on here. It's very strange. <laughs> I'm confused. Have you got confused? But I'm so confused. <laughs> salam, 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 salam. Okay, we're being taken by this gentleman here to a shop, and I'm guessing it's handicrafts, or would it be the same as the the ladies' market, or different different products. Uh, she, uh, she has different products. Different products. When obviously when that happened earlier, um, the guy came over and asked for my help with his, their disabled friend. How do they want help? What do they want? Actually, they you want, want me to talk cash. to them or money? Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, um, like pottery, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and these are stones. These are from. Let's stand over here because of the light. From Bamiyan? From Bamiyan. Would this be the same as the Red City? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize, I always thought it was like uh, mud in the Red City, like yeah. maybe clay, but it's rock. And then the decoration for some of the plates and bowls. Are these designed or painted by him? Or? Yeah, he painted all. Oh, so he's, uh, he's made everything here? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. This, um, this isn't local, is this like Wakin province? Or, uh, no, no. It is not a horn, he just painted it. Ah, okay, so it's just random. And this special man here? Mazari. 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 Ah, okay, yes, yes, yes. When you say Mazari, is that spelled the same as Mazari uh, Sharif? Yeah, Mazari, Sharif. Mazari means he was from Mazar. That's, I was like actually asking. So there's a connection. Yeah, Mazari. Uh, yes, okay. Very good. He actually does all the work here as well, eh? There's yeah. no, there's no factory or... Yeah, he does this is, all this the is his, yeah, his bits and pieces. Yeah. I'm guessing the cut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this um, sandpaper. Mm. It is just for polishing and just yeah. for cutting. Tashiko. So what is, what is the only male-owned shop in this ladies' market sell? So he sells a range of things. Yeah. Kids shoes, adult shoes. I'm guessing this is because it gets cold. It gets very cold in the in the winter here. In the winter. And this is the mattress. We call it the uh, namat. Ah, it's made from the same material? Yeah, it is made of, made of wool. <coughs> Does he make them or...? What is the relevance of this guy, if he's the, you say, the Indian leader? Mm -hmm. why, why would he be sold here? Is there any...? Because it is a bazaar for the tourists. Maybe they have some customer from India or from... Yes. Panjshir from 
This is the famous one then, the guy from Panjshir, uh, yes, uh, Masoud. Masoud. Yes, Masoud. Yes. He says a group of Taliban came to this shop and said, OK, these are haram. Uh, if you have the pictures in your shop, the angel will not come to your shop. Then he said, I'm a Muslim, I don't need angels. That's smart. They were happy enough. They didn't force him then to remove them. They didn't force, but they, they, they gave out voices. Strongly encouraged. Yeah. Okay. I tell you what. Respect, respect, eh? Yeah. Then they told him to burn these pictures. And he said, because it is made of wool, if he burns it, it will make smelly all the area. This guy is very smart, eh? It's a shame that out of all the things that are going on, this, the Taliban have the issue with yeah. a carpet, which is, yeah. it's got somebody's face on it. Yeah. You know? But no, that's very interesting. The only man's shop in the handicraft market. Yeah. Very good. I noticed these in the last shop. Mm -hmm. um, can I pick one up? Yep. Trying to think. Honey. Oh, okay. Yes, it's honey. I was trying. To, I wasn't sure how thick it was. Yeah. So you grow honey here? Yeah. Yeah. It is natural honey. Ah. Okay. Okay. For obviously, in the last shop, we seen similar uh, dresses that, than these. How long to to make one of these? Because these are handmade and these are slightly more detailed. Yeah. And the last one was a one year. Um, there were different types. One was uh, one year, and the other was uh, six months. Six months. Okay. Yeah. It takes three three months. Three months. Okay. She's a, and then. Is, does, she, does she make them or from a factory somewhere else? She is the head of the shopkeepers, shopkeeper ladies in this market. Okay. And she says each shopkeeper has around 40, 50 workers under their own hand. Each? Yeah, each of the shop. Each of the shops have yeah. 40 or 50. Yeah. For example, uh, she lives in, in my village and all uh, my village works for her. Full, these people are full time for this lady? Because it takes, yeah, yeah, of course. And also it takes a long time, three months. So yeah. 50 ladies should work for three months to make 50 dress. So this must be one of the biggest industries then in Bamiyan yeah. is handicraft or, yeah. you know, textiles, yeah. clothes, materials. From the ladies. Yeah, yeah. And also she says only the material of the, this dress is 9,000 Afghan. It's like uh, 100, 100, 110. I noticed there's two, they're like waistcoats down at the bottom. Very, very different than anything we've seen in the shop. Yeah. Are, um, are these also for ladies or? That's for the ladies. Ah. Oh, okay. So you can see that this, this green one here. Eh? Yeah. And is this the only, I'm trying to look for any other um, stuff that's for men? Is this the only one for? She has only that one for the man. Oh, okay. This is also made of wool, and this is handmade. I needed that yesterday. It was cold yesterday. I needed that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and these. <laughs> Uh, this also glass. Yeah, Can I see? Handmade in oh, They look like some comfortable gloves. Incredible. And um, I noticed as well that. She's inviting you for the lunch. Oh, okay. Are the hats also for women then? It's okay. No, it's okay. For man. Oh, this is for man. Okay, yes. Because I've not seen a woman. Women don't wear these hats, eh? Women wear this in Badakhshan and in somewhere like other provinces. Other provinces. Ah. And this is not like this. It is long like this. Okay. And okay. They wear this, and then yeah. the the they wear the head scarf on top of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. My head's too big for. Looks amazing. Really, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Ali. Amazing. Ali. Ali. <laughs> I get a, I get a big head. 
see, there we go, there we go. Let's <laughs> see the mur. The good old mur. Yeah, not bad. Just needs to be, uh, this is like kid size for me, yeah? <laughs> I look, I have this problem everywhere I go. I go. I'm looking for hats. No, nothing, uh, nothing fits me. Can you explain to her that I have a abnormal yeah. size head? <laughs> she has a request for me, and she said uh, when, when we invite some of the, tra some of the travelers to Afghanistan, and especially in Bamiyan, we should take the travelers to here. Maybe they don't buy from her shop. Definitely, yeah. They will buy it from. They will buy things from the other shops. Is there is there is there something small I could buy here as a like a memento? Can you, uh, please? Yeah, it is a, a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. Can you can you ask her for maybe some suggestions? What do you think about this one? Something smaller. Yeah. Good on your ass, Leah. Yes, yes, like you need me to chip Sharo back here. Are these stones? This is maybe a stupid question. Are these stones native to <laughs> Afghanistan? Uh, this is silver, but the stone is not original. But the stone is original. Well, Chishia, I mean, Chubak. Chubak. This one, the stone is original. As long as everything is from Afghanistan, eh? As a Afghanistan? Oh, yeah. It was okay. a Okay. okay. Yeah. And this is very old. It's not new, you know. Oh. And this is very big. I yeah. Well, I'll, I'll not. Yeah, I'll not wear it. But I'll, I'll, I have like a I'll shelf see. where I put yeah, yeah, like yeah. tokens from the memory of this, yeah. this market. Yeah. How much is this one then? I'm here. Don't I keep a star with you? Thank you. No, I'm so this is the popular type of jewelry that yeah. women would wear and this is for events as well rather than actually these are old in these days people do not use this okay. they usually use gold you know this so now they wear gold yeah these are just from like 100 years ago and these are the silver. Okay. And what would what would somebody buy this for then if um, if they don't wear it? The foreigners who come here, they buy it, and also Afghans who are living abroad and they so they tourists. Are rich. Yeah. Ah, okay. The tourists they buy it and take it with them. And this is earring. You make a chest. Ah, okay, I was thinking here with like... <laughs> ah, yes. What is, because we've seen this in the other shop, uh, what's the name of this... Um, so this is part of the decoration. What is the name of this uh, waistcoat? Or yeah, coat? In Farsi we call it waistcoat. So this is a piece of uh, a piece of white paper. Yes. Which the mullah send uh, write some of the oils of Quran in it for just protecting you from the evil eye, like you know okay, the evil yes, eye in Turkey. Yes. So, it's like so a they write it on a piece of uh, paper and keep it here for just the owner of this waste good. Ah, okay. So, so these are these are for. Yeah, if she has that one with her, so she will be fine and she will not be sick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or she will find... Uh, Maybe I should wear this uh, for the rest of my trip through Afghanistan <laughs> to protect me, yeah? First, we will go to the mullah for getting the tawis. <laughs> Sorry. And then, uh, also, it is for tawis for bringing some black in your future. Yep. Or if you're single, for finding a good husband or wife, you can for put the tawis in it. I definitely need that, Anna. <laughs> I definitely need this. She has a request for you. Yes. Please take her daughter to Ireland. <laughs> Will she have me? I'll take her. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tashiko. That was unbelievable. And entertaining nearly at the same time too. We good? Okay. We're good. <laughs> Somebody, eh? <laughs> 